Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. DJI has a bunch of releases and rumors. We have the Syracuse Police Department program that's having well, a bunch of issues. And then a new spray drone that is made by an American company. Let's get to it. And first up this week, the Neo 2 from DJI has been released in Europe, Canada, and Brazil. Uh, the Neo 2 is a massive upgrade from the original one. Uh, it moves from a single axis to a dual axis mechanical gimbal for much smoother footage. And then also it has 4K videos at 60 frames per second now, double the original. And then it even supports 4K at 100 frames per second for slow motion. But the biggest upgrade to me, in my opinion, is the addition of the comprehensive obstacle avoidance which was completely missing from the original Neo. Uh, all of this comes in a package that's 151 grams, which is well under the 250 gram registration threshold for recreational pilots in the United States. Uh, and yes, the Neo 2 does have FCC certification approval uh, that happened back in July. So it's technically legally cleared for sale here in the United States, but it will not be available directly through the DJI store. Next, it looks like DJI has another FPV drone in the works. Some leaked promotional pictures have surfaced from what is looked like it's being called a DJI Avada 360. Uh, the images suggest that it's a multi-purpose FPV drone that can capture 8K 360 degree videos where have we seen this recently? But also it can be flown like a traditional FPV drone with the camera being face forward. Uh, it also appears that it has four different sensors in the front, including both a visual camera and a LiDAR, plus some side sensors. So that would suggest potentially omnidirectional sensing and advanced tracking capabilities, which is kind of a big deal for an FPV style drone. Now the picture also shows that it's being flown using the DJI Goggle N3 and the DJI RC2 remote, uh, which makes us think that maybe it runs on OcuSync 4.0. Uh, according to the rumor, the pricing of the drone uh, would be around, the drone only would be around $1,200 with potential release before Christmas, although unlikely that it's gonna be sold directly by DJI in their store, uh, probably available on the gray market uh, anywhere you find a good reseller. Uh, this drone would obviously be directly competing with the anti-gravity A1 by Insta360, but until we have both drones in hands, it's gonna to be tough to determine which which one is the clear winner, if there is one. Next up, we are heading to Syracuse, New York. I mean, we're not, but uh, the city there has a drone as first responder program that uh, has been grounded now four times this year. This is kind of a fascinating case study in uh, when new surveillance technology kind of intersects with uh, public trust. A few years ago, the Common Council approved $250,000 for Axon drone hardware, but the program has kind of been stuck in limbo ever since due to battles over privacy and policy. Now, the problem started when the police department reportedly uh, tried to bypass the city's own surveillance technology review process. Uh, after public pushback, the program was subjected to a full review, which resulted in a number of public comments. Uh, they said over, over two thirds of them actually uh, were negative. Uh, the situation got worse when the police department wanted to expand the drone's proposed use from just having high priority emergency calls, uh, like active shooter situation, for example, to any and all 911 calls, including minor offenses like noise complaint and vandalism. One of the council persons said that the department justification sounded too much like carte blanche for really doing you can use it whenever you want type of program. Uh, we've seen DFR programs pop really all over the country, but Syracuse is kind of a rare example of local uh, government and citizens successfully pushing against, you know, to kind of slow down this whole process uh, to have more in-depth policies. Uh, it's a reminder, obviously, that this technology has a lot of real benefits for public safety, but also it has to be deployed with privacy protection and also from by having community buy-in. And I think that's one of the biggest uh, issues at play here. And then last up this week, we have a new American spray drone by a company that's called Cirrus Air. Uh, the C-31 is a heavy lift, and, and I mean it, heavy lift aircraft that's capable of lifting almost 400 pounds, 397 pounds, uh, carrying 40 gallons of liquid and also carrying 53 gallons of dry spread. 
Uh, that's a maximum takeoff weight of 617 pounds uh, and it has a 2.1 mile range. Now, according to the data sheet, a single flight can spray uh, or spread 20 acres uh, and then the battery charging takes only 10 minutes, which is also pretty impressive. Uh, the drone is also equipped with omni omnidirectional radar, LIDAR for obstacle avoidance. And then as you can see from the videos, these were shared by one of our students, Caroline from Green Farms for All. Uh, these drones are pretty darn big. The C-31 currently uses Chinese parts, but the goal over the next two years is to transition to US-made parts uh, for having a fully US-made drone. Uh, pricing is not currently available, but uh, for those that are interested, deliveries are going to begin in January of 2026. So cool tech coming out of Vermont. And then join us later for post-flight. This is the premium community show where we share our uncensored opinion, uh, but they're not always suitable for YouTube. So we hope to see you there. And if not, we'll see you next week and have a great weekend.